This is an extraordinary year because more than half the world's population are going to be electing the leaders that will lead our governments for the next five years, the second half of a crucial decade in which as a, as a community of human beings on planet Earth we have to take decisive steps in action in relation to nature and climate. Well, during an age of turbulence in which we need collective action and we need global cooperation, it's become increasingly difficult to forge the kind of consensus we need politically and geopolitically. Why? Because we've had a, a rollback against globalization, a rollback against multilateral engagement. We've had nationalist, populist leadership that's really pushed in the wrong direction. This is a real concern. And so what we have to do is forge consensus, maybe in other ways, but we also need to support institutions, whether it be the COP or the WTO or other institutions that will help drive an agenda for change.